Hey, what do you say, my fellow weekend warriors? St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, and for us, that means corned beef and cabbage. And this year, we're gonna do it outside in the KC combo. We're gonna put some smoke on that corned beef. So this is a three and a half pound corned beef brisket flat that you can get from the store. There's actually a couple ways you can smoke these. Today, we're gonna do a traditional. We're gonna put some smoke on it for a couple hours and then we're gonna braise it in some liquid with our carrots and potatoes. These are all about to go on sale at the stores. So if you can get there early and start picking out some good ones, try to find one that's nice and even like this so it cooks evenly. All I've done is rinsed it off. If you're gonna smoke this like a brisket and not braise it, you would wanna soak it in some cold water for a couple hours to help leach out all that extra salt. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna keep it in this container to help contain the mess and I'm gonna rub it down with some horseradish sauce. This might sound crazy, but I rubbed down a turkey for Thanksgiving with mayo and it was phenomenal. So this will be kind of similar, but it's gonna be a nice spicy horseradish sauce. So we're just gonna get this on, slather it on. You'll notice I'm not cutting off any of the fat. We're gonna keep that all on there. Just get this rubbed in. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it with some coarse ground pepper. We don't need to add any salt. There's a ton of salt in this. Uh, but it's up to you what you want to put on. You could put on your favorite barbecue rub, doesn't really matter. I'm just going for some simple pepper. And that horseradish is going to add flavor and it's going to act as a nice binder for our pepper. And I like a lot of pepper, so I'm going to load that up. We'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And that's it for the corned beef. We're gonna throw it in the smoker. I've got it set to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm using the whiskey barrel blend pellets. We're gonna put it in the smoker at least for two or three hours, right in the smoke, and then we'll get it in a pan and braise it. I've got some carrots, some baby carrots we're gonna throw in there. Some red skin potatoes. And then we're gonna do a pan of smoked cabbage. We'll put some smoke on it. It's gonna be awesome. So let's get this in the smoker. All right, so we'll get this open. Over in the back left corner, I have a water pan. I've got the broiler plate covered in foil. Then I've got a little ball of foil right over the burn pot just to help diffuse that little hot spot that's there. We're gonna put this guy in. Today we're gonna go fat side up for no real reason, just switching it up. I don't think it matters, but we're gonna put it over here on the left, which is the hotter side of the smoker. Get this lid closed. All right, so we're gonna let that go for at least two or three hours. We'll come back about an hour and a half, show you what's going on. We wanna get a nice smoke on there and really transform this from a standard corned beef to a really delicious corned beef. So we'll be back in about an hour and a half. We are at the one and a half hour mark. Let's take a look here, it's looking very nice. And just out of curiosity, I wanna see what our temp is. About 136, right there. And about 146 on that side. So that's actually cooking a little quicker than I wanted. So I'm gonna turn this down to 200 degrees. Get some more smoke on there. We'll come back probably in another hour to hour and a half and start braising it. Happens to be a really nice weekend out here. We got some sun coming down, which feels awesome. A couple more months, it'll be spring. And hey, we're just gonna let this go. We'll be back when it's time to wrap it up. All right, we are at the about three and a half hour mark. Let's see how we're doing here temperature wise. Showing 155, that's perfect. So what I'm gonna do now, let's work on the cabbage. I got it over here on the counter. I've cut this up into four wedges. I got a little, about a tablespoon of butter on top of each one. I'm also gonna hit it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, just so it doesn't dry out on us. There we go. And this is just some salt, pepper, garlic powder. Drizzle this on. and I'm gonna put this right alongside the corned beef. We're gonna let it get some smoke for a couple hours, let it kind of sweat down before we wrap it up. So let me get this in the smoker. Get that right in there. Perfect. And I'm gonna come back for this corned beef once it hits about 165, and then we'll put it in a pan with our vegetables and some hot water. 
Our corned beef has been smoking away now for about four and a half hours. We just hit the 165 mark in the thickest part. We're gonna take this out here in a second. You can see our cabbage is doing good there. That butter has worked its way down into the layers and that's steaming away, taking on smoke. So what I'm gonna do now, I got another pan. I'm gonna put our corned beef in. Look at that beautiful color. That looks awesome. Very nice. We're gonna keep it fat side up. And now I've got some hot water. You don't wanna use cold water, you're gonna bring down the temperature too much. We're gonna fill this pan up here. Just about three quarters of the way of the corned beef, just like that. So this corned beef is gonna braise away. And while it is, we're gonna put our potatoes in. Just cut these small red skins in half. Get those down in the juices. There we go. We're gonna toss in our carrots. And these will start to steam in there, get nice and tender. And then we'll take that seasoning pack that they gave us that comes with the corned beef and just drizzle that in over top of the vegetables, like so. Man, look at that. That looks fantastic. And then we're gonna cover it up nice and tight. We, want to let, we don't want to let any of that steam out, so using one of these lids today. All right, this is gonna go right back in here. I'm gonna bring this one out, put a lid on it as well. All right, just like that. Let's get this lid down. And we are just a few hours away from the best smoked corned beef and cabbage we've ever had. Really looking forward to it. We're gonna take this corned beef up to about 195 degrees Fahrenheit. Just like a brisket or anything else, we're gonna make sure it's probe tender before we cut into it. We'll let it rest a little bit and then it'll be time to eat. We just hit the seven and a half hour mark. We're at 201 degrees in our corned beef brisket. That's what it took to get it probe tender. I'm gonna pull this out just so we can check a couple other things. You'll notice I rotated these pans just because of the hot spot. Let's open this up and just make sure the vegetables are fork tender. Oh yeah, baby. That looks good and smells even better. So I'm just gonna check for fork tender. Oh yeah, that carrot, see that just snap in half, no problem. Let's check these potatoes, especially the bigger ones. Look at that. Just cuts right open. And I'm gonna let this rest for about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna get it on the cutting board and slice this up. And let's just check our cabbage real quick. Remember we put a couple hours of smoke on those. God, does that smell good. Oh yeah, that is super tender, juicy. That's gonna be awesome. All right, we'll be back when it's ready to cut it all up. All right, this corned beef's been resting. It's still steaming hot. We got about 25 degrees outside for our outdoor temperature. And so I wanna slice into this thing again with my brand new Dell Strong knife. A lot of you guys were asking about this in the last video. Let's just cut some slices here and see how we did. Looks freaking awesome going through like butter. Left that fat cap on the top to keep it nice and moist. This looks so good. I can really smell the smoke on there. We put that horseradish on there, the pepper. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. Look at that. Guys, that is beautiful. Just pulls right apart, no effort. That's awesome. 
Let me get a bite. Here we go. Oh, that is so good. I can definitely taste the smoke. You got that traditional corned beef flavor. It's gonna be great for dinner. It's gonna be even better for some leftover sandwiches tomorrow. Smoked corned beef and cabbage, can't beat it. Hey, if you guys like this video, check out one of those two right there and I'll see you over there.